Hello and welcome, my name is Nila. So this is episode 31 of our Let's Play campaign, a Factorio Angels Mod tutorial Let's Play series. We're building big, we're building really clean designs. Let's um, let's spend a bit of time going back. This episode will be dealing with our Robobus, as I like to call it. But first, let's just do a review of where we are. So we started down here in the original base. This is not doing very well. You see most of it is just idling. Uh, there's a large stockpile of silicon that we may not just transfer at some point just to get kick things off in terms of getting glass for example and silicon wafers but that's a different matter we have a good stockpile of everything else here and that means this is the only thing that's always running this is where we are building more more and more and more uh, i'm always coming back to grab more red belts it's just crazy how much i need and then the other stuff and the one thing we just added you can see it's red compared to the other ones is a uh, cargo bot and that's kind of revealing also here we have something interesting because i have now started drawing some of the lines all the way up north so let's what we uh, are then having we are having this hacked thing together this is kind of an intermediate thing we were running out of iron in our original base so i created this construction here that generates a lot of iron and steel and a bit of residual copper but unfortunately the copper is not being used so now the copper is going to jam completely again look at this amount i just have stored here because i'm just not using copper for some reason well I, I just, the other way around i'm just using so much iron because i'm using it for um for what am i using for yeah for belts many many belts that's what we have all right then we have this one this is where we play make mineral realized catalyst just keep doing this and we have these are the two lines the the wood and the resin coming up we have our each of our import station coal you can see here bubmonium we need to go out and find new bubmonium we are down to 2.8 um and these are all just balancing out all the time just hitting at the top mark as as things are being consumed this one also is quite uh, Cretinium also needs some more, but uh, that's it. Cretinium and Bubmonium that needs to be updated. All of our residual here, of course, I could make a lot fewer belts, but if I made fewer belts, then I wouldn't be sure that they would always be working. But that goes over here, gets processed. This is way too big, way overscaled, considering everything would be working at the same time. Probably never will be. But again here, I'm taking this now all the way up, and that's what we're hinting at. So we have a, an intermediate layer here. We do the crushing. Then we have the refining, the, crystal, the crystallization, but none of those are available now. We have our sulfuric acid location. And then we go up to the next tier where we do some fancy sorting for the different materials. They look absolutely brilliant, this one. I'm so happy about them. This one's also really, really cool. So again here, I built this uh, some time ago where it just stockpiles. It uh, makes sure that we can always have all these working full and they're all just working great same for all the other materials this is our now our ingots they go up here and become in if at all possible we do use the high compression with the sheets and the coils or the sheet coils and the wire coils so they are all here there are some exceptions where i can't coil it but that's okay that's other the lower throughput like lead and tin those are the only ones i can't coil and then what I've done is now I'm bringing in here on belts, 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 belt, belt. And I go up here to this will be our start of our new boss. So you may say, why are you baking a new boss? You just did it. Well, I have gone through everything in Angels Mods and I have defined things as a base material or a, I don't know, downstream material. But base materials, they are sort of like this, the copper coils, vast quantities of it and high compression. Also batteries, I've defined those as being uh, the components and the, bat the engines as well. Some cobalt chloride and cobalt oxide chloride. I think, I, I don't know, whatever. Lithium cobalt oxide, I think that's what it, I don't know. And lithium chloride. Those are base mineral materials we get in. We have some ferric chloride, we have the lubricant, we have some sulfuric acid. I, I feel that there should be more, but I can't really find it. Over here, I think I'll just make a slight change now that I'm at it there, so I get two lanes. These I also define as base materials. And the idea is now with what I have, I can start building stuff. And I'll be building it by taking it off the main bus and into 
a location such as this. Should I? And inside each bus, each city block, I will be using robots. That's the difference here. So the first thing we want to do is we want to make a RoboPort area within that is only. See if I if I make them at optimal distance. Oops. Here, and this one also optimal distance. That would mean it would exactly connect with the one at the next city block, and that's not a good idea. So therefore, I actually pull them in, pull them in like this. And at this point, oops, I'm gonna have to s accept that they are kind of in the way, which they really are. And here. But we can always find something better at a later stage. Uh, so now the next part is I will need to get stuff in. So I'm going to get things in here in, I'll get it in. This will be the inputs and outputs. Let's start by saying the outputs will be up top. So I'm going to have some outputs here from this area. These outputs will be from, no, that's a bad idea. I just need one, right? I just need one. Yeah, it doesn't make a difference. And if that's the case, then I might as well do it. Oops, there. This one will request. We are starting to make requesters. Yay! Here. 1000. Just push it out here. And they will then be put on this belt. Wow, that was really poorly done. Up, up, yeah? So that's the idea here. And I'll also have another one, which now becomes quite obvious how stupid this is. There, just to illustrate what I want to do. Yeah. So I'll make new locations, which will be basically the same as what I have, except in here, I'm going to build totally different. First thing, I'll be getting some items in. Let's just get them in down here. What items do I need inbound? First, first, I'm going to get in here, get a this one. So, what items do we need? Well, I need to produce... I just, I messed it up. There. Yes. Okay, so the first thing we need, let's have a look. The first thing we're gonna build is the basic circuit board. So I need wood and copper. Fine, let's get wood and copper in. This is wood. We are going to get the wood inbound. Come in here. And this is just normal branching off bus. I, However, I do want to set the priority is always towards the first one. This one, I'll just cap it at one block. As we get better belts, this will of course also be upgraded. But at this point, no. And then I'll get the copper cords as the next thing. And that's also, I mean, if I just do this all the time, yes, I'll have a massive storage and thing, but I don't mind. I need some way to actually consume all the materials I have. Uh, now that's, I don't know if this is the right way, but maybe it is. So this is enough to build the first tier. Now let's build the next tier. So this one also requires solder and basic electronics component. Let's get the solder, solder part, solder will be here. All right, so where's the solder? Solder is right there because that comes in. 
how perfect this is. Yep, copy paste. Also make sure that I only get only get one tier. That's the solder part, and now the basic electronics components. See, basic electronics components. This, this, I even though basic electronics component is used for many, many items, I don't want to call this a base component because it actually takes two items in and get five out. But it's worse than this because the tin copper wire comes from a coil, so it's actually one fourth of the tin copper coil plus um plus one carbon. So it's 1.25 in, but it's items in and five out. So this is definitely something I want to craft on site. Hence, my next one will be tin copper coils. They are right here. How is this not a coincidence? I don't know about sort of the philosophy of this because it's kind of inconsistent here. This one should, I don't know. I also kind of like the idea of doing it this way, where you just say, all right, when things go out, they go like hard out. There, and this one needs to be capped as well. This is incredibly important, but all the other ones are capped. This is excellent. And then we take the whatever we have residual, just put it in here, right? Yeah, so this is now all we need to build all of this. This is brilliant, right? I mean, I take four things in, I get two things out, everyone's happy. Now the rest will simply be a matter of, uh, of beacons, or <laughs> beacons, of uh, robots and stuff. So I need to first get some room in my inventory, and then I'm going to find the logistics bots. I did create logistics bots. Boom. Aha, that's a lot of logistics bots. So what is this? This is... I have no idea. That's logistics bots. They'll be started now. We'll be starting to use really a lot of power, and that might be giving me trouble. So one thousand bots. This is way too much. I'm not gonna have one thousand bots here now that I think of it. Now I'll have five hundred in one area. That seems like a decent amount. I can always add more charging pads and all that stuff if I need so. And let's get some. Yeah, I know people will, oh, this is not good. I'm don't have any, uh, maybe that doesn't matter. All right, let's start building something here. I will, in all cases where possible, I'll be using the small ones. So for example, here, I have like a basic layout. Um, can you uncoil? Yes, you can uncoil. But maybe I should make, I have a, a, a default setup that I kind of like. I don't think this, I'm going to use this very much. So I don't want that actually to be dominant. I'd rather have these, this one and that one as my, or maybe actually, you know what? It's of course not correct, but whatever. So I'm going to have one input and one output. And this will basically be, and the way I'm doing it is taking here, here. You can see this one is the input. Okay, we need some. There, All right, stop the blinking. So now whatever I request here goes into those areas. And this here will take take it from here and uh, well, that's wrong like this so now for example this one will get from here and in output here and this this one get from here input here and so on so forth. this one will then be having uh, I wonder if I oh I can't even do it why can't I do that it sucks I wanted the signal here because then I could see if anything no I could uh, could do that whatever uh, is less than 100, 200, yeah, yeah, great, I have to redo it again, there, that's sort of a basic 
premise here. And what I could do is just do this one and do exactly the same here. And then uh, the only difference is I'll be using these. Let me bring my truck a bit further in. Whoa, stop breaking things. Good. Now, what I need to be really uh, interested in is I want lines of, of bots here. So I can use all of this just to provide this. And I want to make sure that I provide a full blue belt or full red belt. I'm not going to use beacons, but I want to make sure that I have room for beacons. So basically, oh, come on. Wow, autofill. Wow, that's interesting. Okay, autofill, you seem like you're a shitty mod right now. You are not really working. Yeah, of course, autofill is trying to fill things in here, but that's not good. All right. Um, well, that didn't quite work. Okay, chill. Oh, man. This doesn't even say that it wants anything in. It just says... Okay, that's annoying. That's really, really, really annoying. What if I put it outside of my range? Yeah, okay. So, that's... That's incredibly annoying. Okay, but the idea is... I need to consider... Consider this one as part of... Like a module such as this, right? Like, this could be a module. Which means I could place... But it's also important that they are not like synchronized. It could be like this, right? See. Oh, it doesn't matter. It it will always be somewhat dissynchronized. Let's try here. No matter what, of course if it's a two or three, then it will have some Okay, let's do it. No, it can't be like this because then if I take the big one here. This one. I don't want it like this. I want it absolutely must have like this. And this. And then I get my annoying warning. Yep. And then I get the small ones. And they need to be like here. But one in. Great. Kill all of that. Yes, and we're going to have to accept those annoying warnings. Okay, so this is basically how it's going to be. I'll be providing, I'll be requesting and providing stuff. Uh, you're going to go in there, and I suppose you have some of the other ones. Yeah. That was not all of it. And also, here you are. More of those. All right. This is okay, I think. Yes, yes, yes. Quit whining. And then I'll be making here, here. That should fit. Okay, so I want, I want, because this can be scaled up really, really crazy. Now, the first thing I want to do is take my, hmm. I'm just thinking, right? I mean, I should get things closer. Is it coming? Yeah, something is coming. All right, the first thing we want to do is take... It doesn't have to be like this. It can also be... Got it. So, you will be uncoiling the copper. Uncoil, 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 uncoil. And copper paste. 270. Is anything being picked up? Oh yes, stuff is being picked up. And how much do I want? I want to say here, I want copper cable less than 1,000. Yeah, this is unfortunately the problem that I... Hmm.
There. Yay, we have the first thing. And obviously... Uh, there we go. That's 1,000. 1,000 already. Now, this one I'll do pretty much exactly the same, just for the other coils. Here. And now we again. Boom. To where's the tin coil? Tin coil is here. Tin coil, copy, paste, paste. There. Now we have the copper coils. I could even add more if I felt so inclined. Yeah, I think this is actually a sane place to put it. Stop with that stupid. And at this point, it becomes pretty simple. Now the next part, I get wood in. So in order for us to make the wood, wood becomes here. Copy, paste, 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 paste. 75, no way that's fast enough. Uh, let's get 200. And here we'll be making, oh, I have a fly in here that's really annoying. And again, I want large quantities of everything. Go away. That's just freaking annoying. What did I do? That one. That one, that one, that one. And yes, I know you're thinking, hey, why didn't you get some proper inserters? That's because at some point I'm gonna upgrade them to the next tier of inserters and they'll be better. So now we have a lot of wooden boards and then I'll be making, uh, hold on, can this be making wooden boards? Yes, it can. Okay, cool. We're gonna use the small one because I like the small one better. Always use the small one when I can. That's the rule. And even though I could compress it even more and thereby use get fewer beacons or not get bigger, not get more beacons, but actually get the... Okay, hold on. Yes, like this. And here. Okay. Oh, this is perfect. This actually fits totally. Awesome. Nice. Cool. You're going to be there. That's going to be looking fine. Now this will make the board. Board, 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 board. 200. I guess it's going to be easy moving back and forth here. And this one will then be the wooden boards. And I know that some will say, ah, oh, come on, this is boring, this is... But I think that this is... Then I, I like this as a method of building this. Uh, it also to illustrate, because in my C block, I'm spending a lot of time on making the pathing, but I didn't do it very well for the smelting. So this part, I'm doing it really awesome for the smelting, and then I'm going to do something completely different for all the crafting parts. Copy, paste, you are now getting all the stuff you need here. This one will then be a 200. That's not even gonna cut it. And this one will be 500. No, not five. Oops, screenshot taken, 600. Yeah, it's one and three, so that should be okay. I'll take this. And the interesting thing is how easy we've now crafted this. And now it's a matter of keeping up. How many are being used? Well, three, four, five, six, seven of them, not many. So let's look at the crafting speed of this part here. Now, this is pre creating two per second. No. It's creating four wood per second. Each of these is taking doing two wooden boards. So one of these to two of those to four of those. And except aside from this, it's also a lot, lot, lot slower. Which means you're producing four per second, you're consuming one per second. So I can have four of these. 
can and probably should have four of those. One, two, three. This one is overscaled, but that's totally fine. At least fine by me. This is just to keep the atmosphere up. Beautiful. Let's start making some more of these small ones. What are we missing? We are missing iron. Well, iron is something we definitely can do. So you're going to go in here, my friend. And what else? More of those. And what else? Is there anything else that you are missing? Oh, yeah. These. At this point, we are going to do this exclusively from Beacons. And now you could argue that it could be done smarter. Uh, yes, you can argue that. Uh, this one is 500. Okay, so it's pretty efficient. And that's because this one is at, that shouldn't be 200. It should actually be 2000. I want big buffers here. And then I'm going to do the next one. Let's have a look at the recipes here. All of, so now they're just working all of them. This is brilliant. And I'm going to kill my power very, very soon. I'm sure of it. But the key point is looking if anyone is idle. See, these ones are not able to keep up. The question is whether this one is able to keep up. It isn't. But that might just be in the beginning. So what is the crafting speed? You are... Okay, this is also crazy. Obviously, this one needed something. What am I doing again? There. 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 Yes. That works a lot better. Yes, here we are. This is much nicer. So this one can keep up. And this is already jammed. Nice. All right, let's have a look. So for the next tier, next tier is this one. I'm going to get a lot of basic circuits. Question is whether I should make those direct insert. That could be an option. Um. Solder is pretty easy. I'll make this one into unwrapping the solder coils. There. And then I might want to look into something else for the other one. Although... Alright, I have an idea. This requires solder and basic. Those are coming in by requester. However, the basic electronics could be coming in in a different manner, right? What if I did this and then used the other ones here to input? I will, this one will then be here. And how are you, you're producing five per two seconds and you are consuming five per second. So I need two of these for each of them. That's kind of making sense. So they are putting it in here and that means I should be getting Yeah, like this. And I do believe I could double them up. No. Nope. Double them up if they're like this. There, 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 there. Yes, that would work because now I can take. Ah, copy, paste. 500, 500 of these. This and... Oh, this is now going to be flipped around. So kill this. And take this and just flip it around then. I think this works. Yeah? It does work. Yep. Yeah. Cool. Now copy, paste. That's going to be a hell of a lot more. That's going to be 500 of this and 500 of those. And then I do from here to here. No, here. Yes. And here they come, the slow ones. Do, 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 do. 
Oh, we don't. We didn't get the carbon. Oh, right. I get, need to get carbon in, obviously. Uh, that's kind of important. What are we missing? We are missing iron. Okay. Missing iron. That's the good thing is I can just go down here, take one, put it into a little thing here. I know we're over time, but we need to get this. So give me some iron plates. Nice and easy. What was it again? I wanted to build some of these. Yes. There. Let's try to make it consistent like this. And I'll then be making until I find carbon is here. I kind of like this way because all of them will be straight lines out. And I like it looks so much nicer this way and copy paste. There we go. They're now being input. This will then require the two other things. It'll require the nope, the solder. And what was the other one? Uh, the basic electronics. So let's get 500 of each and 500. It's never going to be 500 ish. But let's see. Why are you not? Oh, they're not working because. Oh, this is interesting. I didn't really, I didn't remember that. There, there. Ah. What? I just messed it up. What's the problem here? No solder? Oh, I forgot the solder. Oops. There, and, oops, ah, damn it. What, am I missing again more iron? Go down here. This will be unbear, uncoiling the solder coils. There, this will be solder. This will be solder. This is the important part. That now I can copy paste it like this. Okay, and I could actually do the same for the other one, but that's not a problem. All right, copy paste here. Five hundred. That's a lot of coils. Is it how fast is it coiling? Oh, it's coiling like incredibly fast. Let's actually do it. Just four hundred. No point in doing more. And we have the coils coming in here, looking wonderful. And as soon as the coils are working, they're being brought over into here boom now they're working sweet oh i don't like the fact that these are this and Because I don't want it to be capped. Copy, paste. Yes. Yeah. Wow, that's a bit of a flickery thing here. How fast are you producing? Well, this is balanced. So it's eight of eight of the basic components to four of them. But this only is. The crafting speed is 2.25, so this means it crafts 2.25 per second. Two, four, six, eight. That's just not cutting it, is it? Nope, it's not. However, this one can easily scale up. So the one thing I'm considering is, why don't I do this thing? And just put it out here. It's really, really simple. 10. What are we missing down here? We are missing 14. Oh. Of course, we're still missing all of the ones there. Boom. 
That should... There. Now we're not missing anything. Great. One thing I don't have is light, but that's a different matter. All these, they're just here to keep me company. I know. Stop, stop whining. So now we have... What was this one? This was... 2.25 that's 4.5 that's 9 that's 18 per second this is obviously not enough for for this but i can you can see here how easy it is for me to just keep scaling it up i could just take the whole lane here question is this one is then taking oh this one is consuming one tin copper wire per two seconds so This is consuming one coil per second. No, one. Let's just pretend all of it is. Oh, and then boom, everything stops. And this didn't stop. It stopped because this one is now full. All right. I'm going to still. This one is still going to be operated from a ratio perspective. Where I want to make sure that I get all the ratios correct. But you can also see how well this really performs. Uh, and at this point, I now have. Quite, quite a decent addition here, and I can then start moving on to the next. I only want to have these there because I want to make sure that I can get to it. But I could, for all intent and purposes, just say, you know what? I kind of like this one, so why don't we double it, right? Like this, then just double it, and then we have, instead of 18, we have 36, and then we're getting closer. And we can just double it again, and again, and again. That's the wonderful part of it. All right, but not for now. This is now uh, pretty good because that this enables us now to start building the next parts. We could build something over here, such as a uh, new mall with all the things that we want to do. I think the mall is the most important thing, so that's uh, probably a good idea to build that. Anyway, so that's the start of our robo bus. Uh, the bus is here, but it goes in and then robo robotized within within the city blocks. Hope you liked it. I hope you want to come back and see how this space progresses. I think that with all this, it can start moving faster as long as we move on the robot bus, but anything before that is still rather slow. But that's, that's just the way it is. Anyway, thank you very much for joining. Hope to see you next time. Bye.